Good evening, guys. Um, if you have issues uh, with your Comcast connection, the IP version 4 connectivity uh, right here. So if this is uh, no internet access on IP4, I used to call uh, Comcast service like freaking five times. They just keep telling me restart your modem, all that freaking bullshit. They're gonna send the signal. Doesn't work. Works one day uh, and goes away. So, and the issue is like if the IP version four doesn't work, you don't have access to uh, uh, to a lot of uh, websites like Amazon and uh, where else are the issues like uh, sort of random websites you can access if that doesn't work with the Comcast internet. So right, this is a, what I, what worked for me. Uh, I just restarted my router, and there was no internet access on version four. I couldn't access for central websites. So what I did, uh, uh, right click on the bottom. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it's re it's a recording. Right click on the bottom on a, on a computer with a network. Click here. It's a, this is Windows 11, so it's similar to Windows 10 advanced network settings you're gonna go more network adapter option so it's gonna give you uh, your network card it's pretty much right here hold on let me try to bring it big pretty much you can go straight here control panel uh, network connections where is it hold on. or you can pretty much search so we're gonna give you the, your uh, adapter that's connected to the internet, right? Your network card. So you're gonna right click and click properties. Uh, you're gonna go to internet protocol, click properties. See now that he says it's empty right now here, right? You're gonna click use following IP address. So when you come to this point, of course you can putting the numbers, how you find out the IP address subnet and default getaway. You got to go, hold on, let me go to this, um, let me make sure I just hide some stuff. You can access your phone, of course, your uh, Comcast um, information, or you can go to the website if you can access it. If not, you can go to your phone. Hold on, I'm going to show you on my phone, actually. There's the Xfinity application. You're gonna go through get away. Hold on. I'm gonna show you quick. Just keep forgetting where is it? Advanced settings. Alright, let me get the camera down. So on my phone, uh, you got your network, that's my network, doesn't matter. Nothing's gonna hack. You're gonna click on advanced settings. On advanced settings, there's a WAN LAN. You're gonna click that. I'm gonna try to blur it. See, that's my WAN IP address, wide area network. So, the first one, the IP address, you're gonna put it right here, the first one. The subnet mask, you of course, gonna put here, and the, the getaway. Oh shit, now I fucking say it. Uh, you're gonna put it uh, on the third row. You're gonna click OK. And there's something's gonna happen here, right? It's gonna something again to restart it. You're gonna go click to diagnose. And it's gonna give you, right now I fixed it, right? But it's gonna give you the the fix, you're gonna click apply the fix, the DHCP something is gonna come up, click uh, apply, fix as admin, click yes, yes, and uh, it's gonna come by itself and it's gonna say IP version 4. So it's a very simple fix and it works. So I, I'm gonna try to make it shorter. So hopefully it's gonna help you out because Comcast service is just not there it's just freaking restart your freaking modem every fucking five minutes and it's just waste of your time so this should be short
all right thank you for watching and uh, hopefully works for you